cook right in our dishwasher while we run a load of dishes. So say you're in an apartment and don't have a whole lot of stovetop space or oven space, the dishwasher is your next alternative to cook some holiday meal ingredients. So first we're going to start with mason jars. So they're great to put your ingredients inside, seal them up real tight, and run in the dishwasher to cook your meals. I'm going to do three recipes for you today. One is going to be pumpkin pie, which is really good. You need to try that one. Another is going to be green beans. Another one is going to be Parmesan herb potatoes. So we're just going to get started. We'll start with the pumpkin pie. So I've already mixed together a mixture here. And it's actually half a can of pumpkin. And I'm just going to put this right in this mason jar right here. It's half a can of pumpkin, a third a cup of milk, half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, three tablespoons of sugar. And that mixture makes four of these pumpkin pies in these small squat mason jars. Those little bitty squat mason jars. And now we're going to add a topping to that. So we need like a crunchy topping to go with pumpkin pie, right? So this is yellow cake mix. Any brand will do. And just about two tablespoons and two kind of heaping tablespoons of cake mix. And then let's flavor that up a little bit. Pumpkin pie spice. So about half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice in there. We're just going to mix that up, sprinkle it on top of that pumpkin mixture that we already added to the mason jar. And then we want it to be a little crunchy, so we're going to add a few nuts to the top. So I would say maybe about a tablespoon of nuts, but I'm just going to sprinkle them on top. These are pecans, but you could use walnuts if that's your favorite. And then I have two tablespoons of melted butter, and I'm just going to drizzle that right over the top. And we have one pumpkin pie. Seal that up. It's ready to go in the dishwasher. Next, let's do the green beans. So for the green beans, I'm going to use garlic pepper, and I'm going to use about half a tablespoon of that in the jar. And I also keep my spices in mason jars, just in case you need some mason jar ideas. A sprinkle of sea salt. And then I just have these green beans from fresh green beans from the deli section of my local store. And then we're going to take, I use boiling water because the water on my tap is not very hot. The hot water on your tap might work. I just fill it about halfway up. Seal it right away and seal that heat in. This will just help get the green beans started and they'll cook the rest away in the dishwasher. Next, we're going to do our Parmesan herb potatoes, another squat little mason jar. And we need potatoes that are sliced really, really thin, like paper thin. You can see those. I'm just going to do a layer in the bottom. And then we'll do on each layer. Drizzle at EVO, extra virgin olive oil, just a little salt, and for our herbs on this, we're going to do thyme and rosemary. So a little rosemary, a little thyme, and a little shredded Parmesan cheese, and this is fresh Parmesan cheese that I just shredded off the block before I started the video. I'm going to do three of these layers, layer number two. on the salt the first time I um, salted it too much. Salt to taste, of course. And the cheese is salty as well. You know, Parmesan's a little salty itself. So go kind of easy when you're salting it. So this was one potato that I had sliced up here, and I still have mm, half a potato or so left. So probably, it's probably about half a potato's worth. You want them sliced thin so they'll actually cook. The potatoes are the tricky part of this. I think you'll have no trouble with the pumpkin pie or the green beans cooking in your dishwasher. If the potatoes don't seem done, just run it through another dry cycle. So, settings on your dishwasher. We are going to turn off all that energy efficient stuff. So we want that on my dishwasher. I can put it on, and it's right behind me. I can put it on high temp rinse. And also, you want to turn off any air dry function, so it's actually heating during the dry cycle as well. 
I'll dive through the magic of television. I have a few ready, and I'm going to grab them with my uh, towel because they're very hot. And I'm going to pop these I just made in here to run through the next dishwasher cycle. And I run these through with the dirty dishes I just got. So you can pop in your dishwasher liquid or um, pot or whatever you use, just your detergent right in there. So here are the ones I just got out. They are hot. So let's start with the green beans, how about, shall we? So I they actually almost seal themselves in the dishwasher. <laughs> You can almost hear a pop, if you heard that on there. And so we put that water in with the green paint, so you want to not get that any of that on your plate. So just kind of rake them out. And they are done and perfectly steamed right there in your dishwasher. While you're running a load of those dishes from all those other great things you're having for Thanksgiving dinner. That's very hot. Okay, this is the potatoes. And what I like to do with potatoes, these mini mason squat, these squat mason jars are so cute. I just like to put it right on the plate and eat them right out of there. And then when you go to serve the pumpkin pie, what I suggest again is to serve it right out of the squat mason jar with a dollop of ice cream on the top or whipped cream. And you have an amazing Thanksgiving meal right out of your dishwasher.